Tonight, new details about a dangerous run-in for Orlando police officers. They were suddenly targeted by a gunman in a moving car. Detectives say the suspect pointed a rifle out the window at the Palm Grove Gardens complex in Orlando. That's not far from the Central Florida Fairgrounds along West Colonial Drive. It would later turn into a chase, then a nasty wreck, and then a triple arrest. News 6's Matt Petrillo joins us live at the Orange County Jail with this close call for the officers. Matt, a fourth person, though, is still on the run tonight. On the run, and police have not yet said if they know who that fourth person is. What we do know is the three people who were arrested each has a criminal past. Your name? Travis Deshay Anderson. Travis Anderson, Antoine Owens, and Daryl Frazier Jr. stood in front of a judge today during their first appearances, each hardly saying a word, each familiar with law enforcement. It's been a long time since he's been in trouble, so he's been trying to do better. They've previously been accused of crimes ranging from petty theft to grand theft auto. Now they face new charges. So you're here today in an aggr aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer with a firearm. They're very much in fear for their life. And I Orlando police say two officers were in fear of their lives after responding to a robbery outside of Palm Grove Gardens around 10 o'clock last night. That's when they saw four men in a speeding car while one of the men pointed a rifle, just like this one, right at the officers. It has the capability of holding a significant number of rounds and those can be shot very, very quickly. So that is scary. The sedan then led police on a chase before crashing near the intersection of Princeton Street and Mercy Avenue. Four men inside the car then ran into a wooded area, but more law enforcement arrived and three men were arrested. Police also found a bag containing the gun they say was pointed right at them. It's, you know, very solid police work on the officer's part and certainly um, getting you know, another crime gun off the street. That car was stolen. And police say that if you know anything about the robbery or the crash to call the crime line, those three men are locked up in the Orange County Jail after not being able to post bail. That fourth person remains on the run tonight. Reporting live in Orange County, Matt Petrillo, News 6.